the results we want. And we want players to be comfortable. We we don't want our players to come on the, the internet and discuss um, the JFF business. But yeah. players are forced to do that. Players are forced to do that. You know, JFF put players in a position or in a situation where they have to do that. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that is that that shouldn't be the case, but it is it, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. But everybody cannot complain about the same thing. Everybody cannot tell a lie. But I must say this before I before I say anything else. It's not this administration alone. Mm. Right? The previous administration had the same problem. I mean, I'll give you a story. I'm not tough. I mean, I'm multiple story, but I'm going to one. <laughs> The media is also covering up for the JFF, you know. Let me just put that in place, you know. The journalists, them. Yeah, yeah, story. Caribbean Cup. Hold on. Caribbean Cup. Well, I can't remember the year Jamaica win it. Tapa was the coach. Tapa is the most successful coach ever in the Jamaica history. You know what I'm saying? more. The most successful yeah. Jamaica coach ever. All things Tapa no do a World Cup. Only thing him no do. But anyway, Tapa was the coach. And we went to Martinique for the Caribbean Cup Championship. Right? Hold on. Martinique we went to. But prior to we going to Martinique, we had some salary issue with the JFF. And what the JFF did is to give every player a contract. Mm. We now have no salary discussion. If everybody know what they might get, everybody know the per diem. So all thing we need to focus on is football. Captain Borrell was the president. May he so rest in peace. We went to Martinique. Remember, so we have a contract, you know. So we now we now discuss no money, a ball we are gonna play. Cause mm. everybody know what the situation is. We went to Martinique. And we went to Martinique. 2010, we just found the date. 2010, I think Theodore Whitmore was the coach. Mm -hmm. We win that year then. Um, we went to Martinique. Settling at the hotel, everything nice. Training session nice, everything good. Here comes Captain Burrell. One team meeting. We said, Jesus Christ. Captain Burrell all the time about one thing. If anybody know him. All the one thing in Tabo. Butter. Yeah. <laughs> so once we hear Captain Want a meeting, I said, Jesus Christ. What go on now? Anyway, meeting start. Captain said to me. Well, gentlemen, why the JFF is in our situation, you know. And why <laughs> we know we recently signed a contract and why things don't work out how we plan. So this is a new situation. The contract what we sign, never have any appearance fee, never have any match fee. It only had um, per diem. And the per diem that it had was 100 US dollars a day. Mm -hmm. So if you're staying for 14 days, 14 US dollars, 1400 US dollars. Mm -hmm. That was the contract. I can't remember clearly though if there was a, a match fee. I can't remember. So no quote me panda. There could be, but no, I don't remember. We specifically remember the per diem. A hundred dollars a day. Captain said to me, gentlemen, boy, the JFF is in that situation and we all can pay pay on twenty dollars a day. Twenty dollar? Twenty US dollar a day. Richard Edwards, he be a part of the team then that go ahead. Twenty. US dollars a day. We left around 100 or we signed contract to you know, to 20. <laughs> Ryan, I mean, I tell you, with this, when you look on everybody's face, <laughs> <laughs> when you look on everybody's face in a road boy, yeah. everybody feels so what? because every man in their mind, we are still for at least 14 days. So mm -hmm. every man, a kind of pencil in, say, 
they all left the tour with at least fourteen hundred dollars. Saying, mm -hmm. but Captain Boris said, "Boy, gentlemen," and him, you know, go around and twenty dollars, <laughs> and he walk out. So this is non negotiable, you know. Mm. And he walk out. So he walk out. The ball of them keep a meeting right after. Loot and shelter and may he so rest in peace. It's a youth that I can't stop respect that youth, you know. Loot and shelter, you know. Anyway, when Captain leave, Loot and other ball and keep a meeting. And we all agree, say, we not take $20. Mm. We want we $100 a day. That's it, you know. Mm. Like we sign contract, you know. Mm. Boom. So we are strike now, you know. We now play no ball because we want hundred dollar a day. That is what was agreed to. We talked to the coach top at the time. Tapa said, do or not do. Him not get involved. Cool. We strike the first day of training. We said we now play no ball. But the thing about it is we couldn't fully strike because if we had strike prior to the competition start. We could have withdraw from the competition and there was no repercussion. So what we decided to do is play the first match. So once you play the game, you know, you confirm your participation, you know. You can't back out again, you know. So what we do, we play the first match. And I think we played St. Vincent. We beat them, I think, 3-0. I think it was 3-0. Boom. After we beat them, we strike. We don't play no bar, we don't train, we don't do nothing, because we want $100 a day. Captain come in at the meeting right after, and Captain vex, and he's go on. And he's talk about, oh, I can't believe you guys are doing this to me. And he go on with himself, you know. After that, we say, Captain, you know, with all due respect, we don't play for $20. We are play for what we agreed to and what we signed contract to. That's mm -hmm. all. And then go on, and then go on, and then go on, and then go on, and then go on. And loot and stand up and say, Kepo, here we are going. Since you are, you know, since you are trying to be tough about the situation, here we are going to do. We now play no ball unless you give it $100 a day. Plus, when we win this thing here, we need 100% of prize money. We want everything. That we, that we, so that was now with the pandy table now, you know. Mm -hmm. We were with hundred dollar plus everything. Yeah, I will stand up firm. I will not kick no ball. Mm. Following day, we meet with a journalist because a lot of people don't know the team travel with a journalist. I know them. You don't have to tell me them. I know the experts of them who travel for cover them up. Good. And guess who pay for journalists accommodation and airfare and everything. Guess who pay for the JFF. Good. So you, you see where I go? So the journalist who was on the tour, I don't want to call his name. I know who, man. I don't want to say, I don't call his name. I know who. But he's very popular. I know who, bro. <laughs> After we tell Kepo say we don't play, we call the journalist, we show him the contract, and we tell him, say, we only ask for what we signed for. So as a result of that, we don't keep no ball until our demands are not even hard. Not even our demands. Our contractual agreement is not breached because of that we signed to. The journalist said, yeah, man, no problem, man. I hear that thing they might do on him. Him boost you up and him go on with himself. Everybody know who McCallum. Know yourself, man. Continue with the boss. <laughs> so after that, the man write one story to my youth. The man write a rotted story the next day. Reggae boys stick up the country. That the man right, you know? Big headline. So you know what's that happen now? People them pressure come down upon the people them. Pressure come down upon the ball of them. Yeah. Yeah. Pressure come down upon the ball of them. Oh, ball of them must stick up the country and ray, 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 ray. And they go on and they go on and they go on. The journalists cover up PJFF. Yeah. We still a whole firm. We say we're not keeping the ball. And then captain come back and he finally agree. So he might go, give me hundred dollar a day. Plus, he might agree for give me the prize money. We yeah. all done 
the hundred dollar day come from where all of a sudden it come from yeah it does appear out of the sky where it yeah from? and them say them now have the money yeah where it come from anyway we, we did have a super team that time there pay a big ball and we don't know so we're gonna take this thing here we end up win it beat martinique in our finals saying so look a bit after that mr siaga call me edward siaga may he so rest in peace Edward Siaga called me and Siaga said he think our demands are unreasonable because the JFF have expenses and them have bills for pay and so on. So we asking for a hundred percent of our prize money is unreasonable. So Siaga mediate the situation. He was the mediator. He was the the middleman of the whole thing. Mm-hmm. For me and him and him fix things and him as a gentleman may think eighty percent. Is reasonable mm-hmm. and the JFF get 20. The ball, them agree. So, we win the thing. I think it was 250,000 if my mind, if my memory served me right. It was 350 US. Mm-hmm. We win. The JFF get the money, and a few weeks later, we go up the JFF Africa, call it cash. I think I got about 7,000 US cash. So tell me now. Me don't know if I seven thousand more forget. You know what I said? Me don't know. Mark I don't... Are the same thing the girls them them give the girls them the other day money and them now give a pay sip where this for where that for and the same same Bridget. Mm. You see the same journalist who hype up himself mm. him beat the girl them to frazzle. Him know why. He know why he's he's doing that, you know. Yeah, he know it's all a big boys club. Everybody are protect everybody. So that's why the JFF can do certain things and behave a certain way. Because the journalists them who need to write the right thing, they're not doing it. They're covering up for them. And that me tell people all the time, say the journalists. Don't have Jamaica and the new them nah the them job. Who could I get a whole heap of better out of the football macalum? I swear to God. Just mm. me put on so much pressure here. Just imagine if them are do it in a Jamaica. Mm-hmm. You understand? Just mm. imagine if them are do it in a Jamaica. Oh, it's a big difference it can make. Listen, this thing I was supposed to be the, the Macalum shares life in this this at on JFF thing. <laughs> no, can you give it? You give it? No, because you are Makalo. You see, and this is what I tell people all the time Makalo. You see, you share your story and you give you something what happened when you play. Mm-hmm. But you know what? So amazing about this and everybody is because the people them hear less from the player. Them. So when them crap a player you are speak now. You see, most of the people in the comment section know, you know, I say, wow, a long time them thing are going. I somebody about the same people are be barely. Mm-hmm. You understand? So when you are talk about these things, mm-hmm. it won't for them, for them head and for them eye. Mm-hmm. Say, this are going a long time. All right, let me give you the next story. Let me give you <laughs> next. Remember, say, for most of us, you know, football are with job, you know. Yeah. Football are with job, you know. Well, not so much for me because we have tankless support. But regarding yeah. 90%, 99% of players in football are in job. They have no other 95, no other f- means of generating money. See? That is important, you know. Remember a time a team called, we have got China, Jamaica versus China, China invite way for your exhibition game. And we reach a China, we fly for 48 hours, as I said before. Finally get there. When we reach there, the travel was difficult. And if you know anything about China, China, I think, 18 or 19 hours ahead. Right? Mm-hmm. So, when you reach there, it's almost like a two days, two, two days ahead already. Almost, almost a day. And so we have to kind of get used to the time change because when 
you have play ball. Normally in Jamaica, you have play ball. You know, China, we're supposed to sleep and vice versa. Mm-hmm. So it took us a couple of days to kind of get used to the so, change. Before the game, Captain coming at the, <laughs> we, had a, we were at dinner. Captain coming at the, the, the banquet hall and Captain said, Ah, boy, gentlemen, um, what may I beg that one here, you know? No, <laughs> just Maybe. like. Say what big that one yeah. Yeah man, he said me a big that one yeah, you know. And the player they laugh. So tell me you now, me leave my family, me leave my job, despite Tanquilla compensate me for the time off. Mm. So this would be a bonus for me. Me leave my family and gone for week and hard to go play ball for country. I try bring something home now. Yeah. Captain I look at me and tell, not just me, all the way. Say my big that one yeah. Say my big that one yeah. And if anybody know anything about, about football like at this level, normally the host country take care of everything. Good. Speed, you um Macalum, you see them thing uh, I eat me a teach you people them, you know. Me tell them say most of these tournaments to JFF ago, them the peer not know them 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 actually get profit from that. Sometimes but, sometimes they don't. It depends on what the negotiation is and what the contract is. Sometimes they show the gate receipt. Sometimes one team recover it. But you see, when big team are invited to play a match, mm-hmm. when big team are play a little team, you know, mm-hmm. big team cover everything, you know. Yeah. Captain said to me, Virgin, you big that one, yeah. Loot and Shelton packing bag for leave. You hear me say? Sell, 